Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Nemours Booknook. I'm George, and uh, today I'm going to be taking you through my reading plans for 2024. Since I'm going to try to have a bit of a more organized TBR this year and be a bit more intentional with what exactly I'm reading, rather than going for just random books that I liked and mood reads. Even though that's most definitely going to happen, I at least want to have some um, uh, sort of um, expectation and uh, some. Uh, uh, to be able to be excited for what's what's to come and to have some more regular uh, content for the channel. So, uh, to begin, I will be starting with the, uh, the series that I plan on finishing, that I've uh, started in 2023 and will continue on, hopefully finish in 2024. Uh, the first one of those is The Wheel of Time, so I'm currently on book six, about halfway through. A bunch more books to go, uh, but if I can manage, for example, let's say one, one a month, um, I should be able to knock it out. Um, I really want to finish this. Uh, I know that I'm in, in it for the long haul wheel of time, even though the, this book in particular has been a bit hard to read because it's really sloggy and slow in places, but um, it's still pretty cool. And uh, I want to know what happens to these characters and uh, just really go through this whole adventure with them. So yeah, Wheel of Time is the first one. The second one is The Expanse. So I have three books left plus the short stories. So I kind of intentionally left the short stories in for the end so I can have <laughs> some more things to read after I finish the series. I know that you're supposed to kind of intersperse them. They are they have a timeline in, the, in between the other books, but I think it will be it'll be fine to to have those afterwards as well. So yeah, the expanse. Three more books left. I'm currently yeah, on book seven. It is great, and yeah. And the third one is the Realm of the Elderlings. So this is um, the Farseer trilogy, the first one. I read Assassin's Apprentice. Uh, I'm talking about it in my top 10 books of 2023. as one of my favorite books uh, for this year. And um, I, I've already gotten the Royal Assassin, which is uh, the second book. And I'm going to be starting that in January, I think. And that will be, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Uh, Robin Hop has really been a great experience for me so far. So yeah, Farseer trilogy. And then I will... Continue on, I think, with the Life Ship Traders, because I've heard great things about those as well. And then we have the Tiny Man trilogy, I believe. So, yeah, uh, Realm of the Elder Rings is also about 16 books, I think, so a lot of reading content there. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited for that. And then we have the Stormlight Archive. So, book five is coming out in December, so it's kind of the end of the first arc of the Stormlight Archive. And um, I'm going to be continuing on with probably a reread of book one, actually, uh, because I read that in January and I don't I mean I remember the main things but there's so many things in these books that uh, maybe I'll just do a reread of the first book and then I'm going to continue on with book two and three and four I have them so yeah Stormlight Archive there's also some novellas I think uh, so I'm going to be doing those as well and finally um, another series I want to continue uh, which is sort of a very long term project but uh, this is the Horus Heresy I read the first book in uh, 2023 and I really loved it. So I want to continue on and um, do some more of that uh, with, you know, like uh, at least three or four more books. So they're kind of these uh, shorter palate cleanser type books that I can read between the, between the big chunkers. So that would be cool. All right. And then we have um, the Dark Tower. So I want to start off with Stephen King, just kind of because I've been curious about him for a long time and I want to see how I'm going to you know, vibe with his books because I'm not that much of a horror person, even though I know that he's not uniquely horror. But you know, I decided to, contrary to what actually a lot of people say, to start, uh, I'm going to start with Dark Tower because it's just kind of feels up my alley. It's, it's, it's the mixture of King and horror. So yeah, I have book one, uh, The Gunslinger, and I'm going to be starting that. So we'll see. Uh, I'm, I, I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. I've heard a lot of conflicting opinions about Dark Tower. But I think that uh, I might actually like it. So the Dark Tower is definitely something I'm going to be starting. Right, now uh, a special project that I want to mention is also I'm going to be starting a um, complete reread of The Legend of Drist. So these are kind of books that I grew up with. They're definitely a big part of my childhood, a big part of the nostalgia, the love I have for d and uh, universe as a whole. And um, so I'm going to be starting in book one, which is Homeland the uh, first book in the Dark Elf trilogy, and I'm going to try and, so this is maybe over the course of a couple of years, but I'm going to try to do a book a month. So 
I have some gaps in books that I haven't actually read in the Legendarist, uh, a few of them. For example, Silent Blade, I haven't read. Uh, I haven't read uh, Spine of the World. I haven't read uh, Passage to Dawn. So there's a couple of books that I, I haven't read. So I really want to kind of just do them in order and uh, kind of have the complete picture of the Legend of the Dress series and move on to the newer books as well because I think I stopped somewhere around Night and the Hunter, which is, I think, about book 20-something. And uh, yeah, so Legend of Drist, very excited for that because this is, as I said, a big part of my childhood, one of my absolute favorite characters, absolute favorite series. And I'll be very excited to get into that. And I will be trying to do actually full reviews for each book here because I kind of just want to give more visibility to Salvatore's writing as to the way he writes, or the way he makes stories, the way he makes characters, because I think it's really unique. And yeah, so stay tuned for that. Very excited. Uh, second of all, I will, as I kind of do every year, I will just be reading Discworld books here and there because I love Pratchett. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be starting the Night's Watch series with Guards Guards this year because uh, I haven't actually read any books from Night's Watch. Um, I've read mostly the death books that I really love and um, another odd book here and there, um, such as Going Postal. But uh, yeah, Guards Guards, definitely excited for that one. I've heard only good things, so I'm going to be doing that. And another series, which is just kind of a throwing it out there because I've heard a lot about it and I'm really, really curious about it, is the Dragon Riders of Pern. So this is kind of one of those classic Dragon Rider stories, which apparently has some sci-fi elements to it as well. And Anne McCaffrey is kind of one of the, sort of the classic fantasy writers that um, I'm really curious about. Um, so Dragon Rider of Pern, I'm going to try that. There's a bunch of books there as well, but I think Dragonflight is the first book. So I'm going to be starting there. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, sort of the fantasy and the sci-fi part of things. And uh, something I really want to focus on this year because I had a great time with the books in the genre that I left, uh, that I read in in 2023 is to read more classics. So I have accumulated quite a bit of classics and uh, I want to kind of start checking those off. I really start um, to uh, read some of the great, some of the great classics. So some, no, this is not a, not an exhaustive list, but some that I actually have. Uh, so first of all, Crime and Punishment. This is by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Uh, this is a book I've wanted to read for a long time. So this is one. And then we have uh, Wuthering Heights. So this is actually one of the one of the allegedly greatest romance stories ever written. And yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for a romance story, at least sort of written in the classical way. So yeah, this is something I'm going to read. Another one is this East of Eden. So this is Steinbeck. I have yet to read a book by him. And as far as I know, this is kind of this kind of slice of life uh, um, American uh, story. So yeah. Uh, East of Eden by Steinbeck. Another one is The Three Musketeers. So this is in French. I'm going to try to read it in its uh, native tongue. But this is by Alexandre Dumas. Um, definitely a classic in its own right. And a historical book, which I always vibe with. So Three Musketeers. And 1984, which is a book I have sorely been missing. Uh, I don't know why I have not read it yet. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed the... Uh, Fahrenheit 451 in 2023, and this is a similar kind of dystopian type of, um, of novel, as well as Handmaid's Tale, that I read last year as well. So yeah, very excited for this. And finally, uh, Pillars of the Earth. Yes, I have heard a bunch of things about this book, that it is just amazing. I mean, I have not heard a single negative review about this book, and a lot of people have talked to me about it. So there must be something done right here. It's not a chunker, but I think the... This and kind of the entire Kingsbridge series is something that I really want to get to. I do love historical fiction, and it's something that I really, really want to go with. And a couple of others, Left Hand of Darkness by Charlotte Wynne. I picked this up uh, recently. I really, I really love her writing, so I'm excited for this. We have Frankenstein and Moby Dick, which are another two that I want to explore. Um, I've heard a lot of conflicting things about Moby Dick, but uh, let's see if I can sort of get through this. Uh, whale hunting kind of deal. Uh, Strange New Worlds by Alice Huxley. This is something that I also have heard a lot about. It's another kind of dystopian novel. So yeah, I've really been liking those. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, for other one-offs, just books that I just kind of have on the radar. Uh, we have uh, Hyperion. We have Jurassic Park. We have A Canticle for Leibowitz. We have the reread of Dune that I completely dropped the ball on. 
in 2023 that I want to go for, and 2001 A Space Odyssey. All right, so I'm going to be keeping kind of a list of these books that I just mentioned in this video and just kind of uh, treat them with priority in the next year. So I'm going to try to stick to the CBR and really try to focus on finishing these big fantasy series and reading these classic books and kind of just collecting my thoughts on them and just doing, doing reviews and so on. But yeah, I really would just want to have more structure to my TBR because 2023 I kind of read a bunch of random books that I really hadn't planned to read, which always happens, of course. There's, you know, stuff like Buddy Reads, people recommending books to you and so on. So it's this part of the excitement of it all. But I want to I want to try having the structure and kind of be able, as I said, to look forward to, to books that I find. So yeah, that was my TBR for 2024, um, such as it is. Uh, so yeah, tell me about yours. What are you planning to read? Any big series? Any big books that you're excited about, please do share in the comments. And yeah, you can break my TBR before it's even again. <laughs> so yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Happy New Year.